a busy man. A lot has happened yes. since you were last here. You had a couple special events. Tell us about that. Yeah, I definitely did. So one of the special events is I got invited by the American Society of Black Neurosurgeons to the... That is major! Yes. And I got invited by them to the annual conference of the Congress of Neurosurgeons, or Neurological Surgeons. Wow! And wait, and then you also got to interview Spike Lee? Yes, I actually did get to interview him, and I got to ask him about the... You got to ask him, what you asked him about? I got to ask him about, like, the troubles and prejudice he had wow. rising to the film industry. Come on, you're so smart. <laughs> Tell us about your new science club. So, yes, I'm actually starting a youth leader science club coming in 2026, so <laughs> make sure to watch out for that. But hold up, I've got some good information on it. So basically, it will be for ages 5 to 16, and our motto is encourage, inspire, and impact. You know, I always love it when you stop by because you always drop some, like, science on us when you come here, you know? You do that for us. So what do you have for us today? So besides sciencing, which I love a lot, you know I love dancing. I mean, oh, oh, oh. I dance at church. I dance when I'm here. Yes. I dance basically anywhere there's music. So since I even dance when I'm sciencing, you know I had to combine those two delicious hobbies of mine. Really? Okay, so, so why does dancing make everyone feel so happy? Well, you see, when you dance, your body treats it as exercise. And the thing is, exercise triggers your reward system, which is a part of your brain that deals with the secretion of dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins. Okay. So whenever you dance, your brain starts to secrete those feel-good hormones, and it allows you to feel relaxed, happy and melts away that stress. Wow. So that sounds like it means that we should probably dance more, huh? Oh yeah, we definitely gotta keep the grooves going. Okay, y'all remember that. Now, what happens if your body can't find the rhythm in the beat? Well, Miss Jennifer and the audience, can you guys do a little something for me? Yes, sir. So, I want you guys to make a beat. And while we're making this beat, do any of your grooviest dance moves. You know, I okay. want to see them. Okay. Ka-chow. 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 Boom, boom. Ka-chow. Boom. Ka-chow. Boom, boom. Ka-chow. Boom. Ka-chow. Boom, boom. Ka-chow. Uh, uh, uh. Ka-chow. Uh-oh, he said cut! Halt, brethren, for I must explain the science. You see, when that groovy beat goes into your ears, then it gets processed by your auditory processing cortex, which is a part in your brain that detects things like sound and especially rhythm. So when this rhythm gets detected, then it sends some signals to your cerebrum. And this is the part that deals with balance. <laughs> and it also deals with simple motor movements. And with these combined, then, since it deals with simple motor movements, then it gets sent to your parasympathetic nervous system, which is basically the part that moves your legs, your extremities, and really lets you groove to that beat. <laughs> Your happy place is here. What was your favorite part? Drop it in the comments and subscribe to help keep the joy coming.